A lot of times in applications, you'll have two functions, and you have to determine where those two functions meet in order to maximize profits or um, find different uh, levels of importance to you. So, what we want is we're given this this graph here. Here's y1, our first function, and then here's y2, and we want to know where they meet. So we want to know this intersection point right there. So the way to get that is to set both of the equations equal to each other. So we're going to take this part of the equation, the actual function, and set it equal to this this part of this equation. So we have y1 equal to y2 to find out where the two functions meet. So y1 is 1 half x plus 1 from up here, and y2 is 3 halves x minus 1. And now what we're going to do is solve for x. This is a little different from other equations you saw because there's an x on both sides. But what we want to do is get x on the same side and isolate it. So we're going to subtract 1 half x from both sides. And at the same time, we're going to take this 1 and add it to this side so that we just have x's on this side and then number it on this side. So if we add 1, cancels this out. And these two half x's cancel out. So we have numbers on this side and x values on this side. 1 plus 1 is going to be 2 equals 3 halves x minus 1 half x is just x. So it's 3 halves minus 1 half is 1. So you have 2 equals x. So now we know the x value where these two um, equations meet. But we have to know the y value now. So remember that x is equal to 2, and what we can do is we can plug that 2 back into either one of these equations and get what y is equal to. So let's just pick this first one here. We have y1 equals 1 half, plug the 2 in for x, plus 1. And then if we solve, we have 1 half times 2 is 1, plus 1 is 2. So we have y equals 2. So our point of intersection is 2, 2. And if we plug this 2 back into this one, we get 2 also. Uh, 3 halves times 2 is 3, minus 1 is 2. Because that's the point that both of these two functions have in common. And since they're linear, they only have one point in common. But in practice, you're going to come across functions that are probably going to be a little bit difficult, more difficult than this and won't be linear but you go about it in the same way.